Welcome back, everybody. We have a very special episode today, and I'm so thrilled to be letting you know that we're actually going to be doing this on going. So today is a Dr. Reacts video. We're actually adding these videos every single week on the weekend. They're going to be Saturdays at 8 p.m. And today we're going to react to some awesome YouTube lash fails. So I've got some great videos queued up. We'll be taking a look at those today. Welcome to Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. I'm Dr. D. My goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Hey guys, I'm Dr. D. I'm a doctor of optometry with my own private practice, and usually I post videos every Wednesday, educational videos about eye health and vision products. But now we're gonna be posting them on Saturday evenings as well. This is our new series, Eye Doctor Reacts. Today we've got some lash fails for you, which I'm so excited about. And the first one up is Cassandra Bankson. I love her YouTube channel, and any of you that watch my channel for the dry eye information I give or the cosmetic information I give, you might be interested in her channel as well. Cassandra's an esthetician, and so she has wonderful information. She's also really good about flipping bottles over and looking at what's in the ingredients, which I am so into. So looking for good product recommendations. You know, I've had a lot of you ask me about eye creams. Cassandra is a really good channel for you to watch, and we'll make sure to link her down below. All right, so first up is her video. I believe she's going to lash her lash her waxes off. I believe she's going to wax her eyelashes off. So um, we'll take a look and see what happens. <laughs> what the F? Look at what I did to myself. Oh. oh my God. I made a consumer mistake and waxed off my own eyelashes and I scratched my cornea. And I want to share this experience with you because this is something that can be purchased on the internet that I do not recommend, but I feel people should be aware of. And this is where it comes down to leave the professional stuff to the professionals. Yes. Yes, girl. So I am pretty passionate about lashes, proper lash care. I've made a couple of videos about that in the past, but you can truly mess your eyelashes up so much and therefore your ocular surface, causing dry eye irritations. You can even scratch your cornea like Cassandra is saying happened to her. And so I love this. She has such a big platform and I love that she's saying like, leave it to the professionals because guys, right there at your lash line, at your lash margin is such an important place for tear production, right? So I always talk about dry eye and um, we've talked a lot about the meibomian glands in videos past and absolutely, so this lash margin is best left to the professionals. Secondly, she's got one of the worst, like I can't wait to see how this plays out because she has got a corneal abrasion from what she says. And a corneal abrasion occurs when this very front layer of the cornea is scratched off. So I actually just saw one of these this morning. Um, babies are notorious for scratching their parents' corneas. I actually saw somebody today that had had that happen. These are super, super common. But you can get an abrasion from something getting in your eye, um, from you know, baby's fingernails are a huge one, really anything. But here's a great example. Um, you know, this waxing kit for her lashes actually has caused an abrasion. One of the biggest things I see are mascara wands. Oh my gosh, those are so notorious for abrading the cornea. So let's see what she says. Oh, it's burning my eyes. Okay. Uh, oh my God, it stings. Oh. Did she oh, just put water in there? Okay. Oh, girl. Eyelash extensions have gotten increasingly popular um, in the past couple of years. We're not just talking fake lashes that you put on, but we're actually talking either single extensions or tab extensions, which have like three to five lashes on them each. And it's because they last for like two to five weeks. They make your eyes look like you're wearing mascara even without it. And mm -hmm. it's a way to wake up and feel like you are bright eyed and bushy tailed. Stuff. I've had eyelash extensions put on me by professionals before. I do like them. However, I yeah, do not do eyelash that. extensions. I am not trained in eyelash extensions. Technically, I could do them. 
Yeah, so great point. Eyelash extensions are super, super common nowadays, and I've done videos before about what that actually does to your ocular surface. So one of the biggest problems I have is um, the adhesive that's used, lots of concerns about that. Um, obviously, I think I even talked in that video about the possibility of that getting in your eye, causing this burning. It sure looks like maybe she got some of that adhesive in her eye throughout the process. I don't love that she's kind of rinsing her eyes out with tap water. So tap water, even though we think of it as being very clean, um, it actually it could be full of bacteria as well. So just as I never recommend that you soak your contact lenses in tap water, I don't like you rinsing your eyes out with that. Um, even like a saline solution is a better idea to kind of keep around for your eyes. Artificial tears are really good and formulated in such a way that they can help wash out debris or chemicals like that. Um, yeah, or you can just get an eye wash station in your house. That's always a good move if you're gonna do risky things with lash extensions. <laughs> then a couple hours go by and I start to get this redness and this swelling on the inside of my eye. Just a word of warning, it's the end of the evening and can you see my eyes? I've had to remove some of the lashes. I'm gonna remove them all because it is causing a little bit of scratching there and yeah. I don't want that and my eye is bloodshot and red. Um, I do not recommend these. I am in horror. My <laughs> eye is completely bloodshot. It is burning. And the corner of one of the lashes is now scratching my cornea. Yeah. The cornea is the part of your eye. Yeah, so um, what she's seeing happen is a delayed reaction. That could be a delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Um, I Gosh, I don't know what that's to. She's kind of talking about how the lash itself is feels like it's touching her eye, but that's also doesn't necessarily mean that it is. It could be adhesive that's touching her eye or something else. Um, we call that foreign body sensation, and many, many things will cause a foreign body sensation. Like people will come in all the time and say, it feels like I have something in my eye, but it's not necessarily true. You can have a foreign body sensation without an actual foreign body. So at this point, there's no question, like, this is going wrong for her. Um, I'm getting it now. It's an eyelash extension kit that is going to pull some of her own lashes off is what it seems like is happening here. And, you know, these are the dangers of these um, online or whatever, anywhere lash extension kits. I always recommend that you look at that adhesive, that you flip that over and really look at what's in the ingredients. You're putting a, a lash adhesive right next to your eye, your ocular surface, and it can be really, like you can get a chemical burn from it, a scratch, um, just inflammation and irritation in general. And unfortunately, it looks like in this case, poor Cassandra is definitely having all of that happen. <laughs> They're not coming off. This is a horrible mess. I cannot recommend these at all. They're like not coming off. The oh, glue isn't dissolving girl. and my eye is getting red. I hope I'm not having a semi-allergic reaction to this. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this, this glue is absolutely horrible. The lashes themselves aren't that bad, but there is no way that they could be selling this. Look at this. It's so crunchy. Yeah. Okay. Go to your eye doctor at this point and let them remove because at this point your, your eyes are so irritated and red and anything else you do could kind of make it worse and your eye doctor is going to be able to get you um, in a magnifying microscope where they can see the individual lashes and really take care of this. I mean, she's so inflamed in this video that she may need a steroid, she may need an antibiotic just to make sure um, if she has a corneal scratch that we don't get a secondary infection with that. So yeah, this is definitely, this is exactly what I talk about when I talk about lashes and being so careful about the adhesive. It is just not worth it. Um, you know, use an Instagram filter instead or, you know, I don't know, just good volumizing mascara is a lot safer than um, this sort of situation. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, this is a super great example. I'm so glad I watched this because um, this is real life and I feel like this happens um, to many people that try lash extensions and it's, um, it's just something you need to be so careful of. So uh, next time we're gonna react to tattoo fails. So I'm gonna watch some people inject die into their eyes and we're going to talk about why that's a bad idea. So 
Um, thanks as always for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. We now have videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. See you next time.